Good morning everyone, today is a beautiful day and I'm probably way too happy, you probably like click this video and you're like Emily chill out, so today's video is basically a massive PSA, it is just an announcement to let you know that vlogmas begins over on my vlog channel pretty much now, but I thought I'd do the first vlog over here because today I'm going shopping for my family's Christmas presents and I was like let's share this journey together, now I'm currently in LA so I'm going shopping to Westfield at Century City, so if you've ever wondered what Christmas shopping it's like in Los Angeles as opposed to the UK then keep watching because I have no clue either we're gonna go discover some things together hopefully I come away with some bits but yeah I've just got ready for the day I've done my makeup I feel like I need to kind of fix it a little bit I might change my jumper because it's quite cold here it's like 10 degrees which obviously compared to England is not that cold but for here it's pretty cold so I might go put my new Topshop turtleneck on I'm thinking but if you haven't already please do make sure you subscribe to my vlog channel I will link it down below and if you're excited for vlogmas give this video a thumbs up so I've tried to be a little bit more prepared this year despite the fact I started my Christmas shopping late which it's like December I should probably be done by now I know most people are I mean I know I've been talking about the Braun Silk Apple 9 for pretty much like two months now this is someone's present and I have finally got it here I actually have my own one here I have my own one in London and my own one here um and this is a gift so I'm very excited to give this to a certain someone for Christmas who I feel like I've really given it away now I've brought it here but yeah I mean I will link my video down below where I spoke all about this I've done an IGTV it's just do you know what it's a really exciting one for me when a product that like I've used for like four years I'm like hey Emily we know you love the product do you want to talk about it and I'm like uh, yes please so yeah I've been talking about this a lot there was some amazing Black Friday offers I will link it down below because obviously Black Friday is over but there's you know it's still incredible value for what you get so this one you get the epilator you get like a trimmer and then you get a ton of attachments so it's like a wet and dry epilator you can use it in the shower you can use it dry and it comes with like exfoliating heads which you like can use on your body it's the thing with it is it kind of encourages you to make your kind of hair removal more of a routine so if you're like epilating but like you you're going to exfoliate before and then you're going to epilate and then you're going to do this afterwards and do this and do this it's going to create a i guess a better result which it does and i'm telling you from experience it does um so yeah you kind of get like the whole thing in this there's trimmers in here and everything i will link it so you can have a little look and i will also link my routine video where i show you how i use it but yeah, I do. I did want to give a shout out to this because it is something that I'm gifting. I'm all about gifting things that people are actually going to use. You know, maybe sometimes they might open a gift from me and be like, this is a bit random, but will they end up using it like, you know, very frequently? Probably. Yeah. So that is another reason why I wanted to mention that one. But yeah, massive thank you to Braun for working on that campaign with me because it's something that like, I've had this since I was, gosh, what, 17, 16? And so yeah, I'm really excited to be able to give this to someone that I really care about for Christmas and that will be linked down below. That's one thing ticked off my list. I just have to get a few more friends presents and my family. So what do you even buy like an 11 year old who has everything? She just wants a pony. I can't get her a pony. So this is the current outfit of the day. It could change because it is pretty chilly out there, but uh, I've got my freshly washed hair, which is amazing. And then this is a Levi's trucker jacket. I love this. I wear this so frequently. Jack Will's jumper, a little Zara crop top that I actually got really recently. And then I've got this Zara skirt. This is from Zara Kids. I just wear it so often. And yeah, it's great. It's an age 10. Just in case you're wondering for size reference, it was last year, but definitely check out Zara Kids if you're ever looking for like skirts, they're really good. Actually their t-shirts are really good as well. And then I've just got my docks, which I wear all the time, and then my Louis Vuitton Palm Springs Mini World Tour Edition, and that's the look. Normally I would just wear the jacket over my shoulders, but it's actually pretty chilly out, so we're going for the jacket on. Okay, so I'm all ready, I've just kind of shoved my hair up. It's pretty chilly here, and I'm going to Westfield at Century City, which is actually outside, so we've got full on like jumper and everything. I feel like I probably should have worn a jacket as well. It's not like that cold, but it's not warm, like it's probably like 10 degrees, I would say. So yeah, on my hit list today, it's like my family's presence more than anyone, just because my whole thing here is, I know you're probably thinking, Emily, you're in LA, why are you getting Christmas presents there when you have to take them all the way back to England? And the fact of the matter is like my family, they're like so hard to buy for, right? So I'm like, well, if I get them something from here, then they can't get it in the UK. So it's more of an exciting present because it's, you know, it's different, it's from abroad. So I'm gonna have a look around 
uh, Westfield today at what I can find. I mean, let's be honest, I might just end up getting them things that I probably could get in the UK. Like, I might look for an Abercrombie hoodie for Sophie because she had one that her friend bought her for her birthday last year, or it might have even been Christmas, but she's started to grow out, to grow out of it, but she wears it all the time, so I'm thinking that's a good one. And yeah, I've just got to try and figure it out. So I've gone into Macy's first and I've just seen something that I think Sophie would love. I feel like Sophie's gonna be really easy. I don't know why I'm concerned about her. It's Sophie, she's grateful for everything, but look at this. So I think this is what my friends Lucy and Lydia have and they're always using it on their Insta story. It's like $17, which, oh my gosh, regular 50. But how cool is this? I think Sophie would adore this. She just loves singing. And I think this could be a winner. Can we just talk about how adorable these Uggs are? Like, do I think I'd ever wear them? No. But do I think they're super cute and kind of appreciate how gorgeous they are? Yeah. To be fair, I need a new pair of these ones. My ones have gone all like stained from the rain over here, so I don't know. We're not shopping for me, I'm gonna stop. I'm about to head into Abercrombie now, I'm not gonna lie, this is the third time I've been in the shop in four days. Yeah, I came here, there was this pair of shorts I wanted, I literally came to Westfield to look in Abercrombie for these shorts, they didn't have them. And then I decided that I wanted the pyjama bottoms, so I came back the next day just to get the pyjama bottoms, and now we're back to do real shopping, but they've got 50% off sale right now, so let's go have a look. I really hope I can find something for Sophie. Let's do this. These are what I got the other day, but I got the men's ones just because they're a little bit longer and I'm quite tall, but they're gorgeous. I'll link them down below, but... How gorgeous are these? This is super tempting. They're fleecy. But I think they'll be too big for Sophie. She wants like just the normal Abercrombie hoodie. These are the v-neck bodysuits that I've been wearing a ton on like Instagram and stuff recently. I've got the like creamy one and the grey one, but I didn't know they did black. That's like a game changer. They are the comfiest, coziest, warmest things. I don't know if you can see, see they're like soft touch. And I got mine at Abercrombie in London. 100% recommend. I can't even get over how soft they are. Like you could sleep in them and bodysuits generally you're like aren't comfy to sleep in, but would recommend. I might see if they have this in my size. Okay, they don't have it in my size, and that's probably the best part of shopping trip for me. That was a fail. They didn't have anything so sized. I mean, they must be able to call me kids somewhere. I'll have a look, see if they have one here. But she's kind of like fits in adult clothes now. Wow, that's really nice. My sister would actually really like that. I have to shop for my older sister as well. I need to figure that one out. Next up, I'm going to head into anthropology. I'm going to look for things for my mom in there because they have really nice kind of like not like trinkets, but you know what I mean, like accessories and things like that. And I think that's what I'm gonna get her this year. I also, I think for like her main present, I just like, I wanna give her like tickets for something, but I also wanna have something to give her, so that's what I wanna find in here. This is what I'm talking about. Like, how cool is this? I think I'll be able to bring these back in my hand luggage as well. Like, they're, they're gonna fit and they're not gonna smash if I carry them, so. We have many options in here. Like, everything's just so cute, look. These are lovely. <gasps> They're so nice. My sister would love her. See, these are my kind of gifts. If someone bought me like this, I'd be absolutely buzzing. So it's like a spatula and there's a cookie cutter on there as well. But I think these are really sweet. You could actually make these at home. So they're like hot chocolate toppers. So it's like rounded marshmallow with just chocolate on. It looks like a snowman and then you put it in the top of your hot chocolate. But you could so easily make this at home. I might actually try because I think that would be so sweet. I might try and make it with Sophie next week in Vlogmas. Serious question. Bowl or mug? I think I'd use it as a mug. Look, there's two handles. It's probably like a soup bowl or something. But I would say use that for tea or like hot chocolate. Imagine a massive hot chocolate in this. That's a great gift. Like if you got this and then put all the ingredients to make like a really cute hot chocolate in there with like a top or something like that. That's really sweet. Oh my goodness, they have a spatula from this collection with a gold cookie cutter. Come on. If any of my friends or family are watching this and are struggling. <laughs> I feel like I'm making some real progress. Although I've been like, probably in about six shots where I've heard Ariana Grande's Last Christmas, which is just like, I'm getting a bit bored of it now, even though I love it, but it's just, you know, every shot of my own, just heard this. Um, so, I want to head, where I want to go next, I'm kind of just wandering around and heading in like wherever I see, but this is like proving to be a lot more successful than I thought it would be. I thought I'd kind of wander around aimlessly and be like, I need not to buy people, but there's actually a ton and I just feel like, and then again, it is Christmas, isn't it? It's easier at Christmas than birthdays because it's like gifting season. So, yeah, I'm happy. Can't go near an Aerie without just thinking of Iskra Lawrence instantly. She is just, I know she's like the face of or something like that, but I just think of her every time. This is the most adorable onesie I've seen yet this season. It's got polar bears all over it. Oh. How sweet. I quite like that it doesn't have a hood actually. I feel like they're a bit bulky with the hood and this is like fleecy material. 
how sweet. These are a Fab Idea chalk tip markers. So I will be looking online because they're pretty pricey in here. I'm in the container store. But my little sister would love this. She could draw on her mirror and like what else can you draw on? Chalkboards, plastic, ceramics, glass, windows. She would adore that. I think when kids love it because it's like kind of cheeky, you know, you shouldn't be drawing on your mirror, but you can because you can wipe it off. I'm also a little bit tempted by these. I very much don't need them, but they're so sweet and it's no, you know, one of those things you just keep and could come in handy at some point. Similarly, these are really nice as well. Look at this gift wrap. This is what I picked up so far and there's some tape. And I'm very tempted to get this one on the end. It's very cute. Oh, there's this, these ones around the corner, the trees. Let me show you. How sweet is this? I also really like this. It's antlers, but I'd already picked up one kind of similar, like a deer themed or like reindeer themed. But I love this. It's just not very festive, is it? So I just got back. All I actually got in the end was some of the wrap and paper from the container store because everything else, I was like, do you know what? I was like, I can just order it online. I was looking on Amazon as I go around the store. I'm that horrible person that is ruining the high street by shopping on Amazon. Shopping on Amazon. As I walk around, it's terrible. But let me show you what wrapping paper I actually bought in the end. Right, I'm multitasking. I'm like making a tea and everything at the same time. Please ignore the massive bin bag in the background. The cleaners are here, so that is getting taken down shortly. But the first one I got is this one, the reindeer one. This was like $3. It was really good value. And then the others were like slightly more expensive, but they're like nicer quality. So this one was like $8, I think. And again, it's reindeers. I didn't really realize until I got to the checkout. And I was like, oh, it's kind of the same but it's whatever and then i got this one again this was like four dollars and this actually no this was ten dollars got it wrong <laughs> this is like a tartan kind of print which i think is really nice i think together they just look really good i mean probably i could have done a print that wasn't reindeer but what are you gonna do and then i just got some cellar tape as well and i actually got delivery when i got back and my christmas pajamas arrived i've got like longer ones from abercrombie that i bought in store but they didn't have these and basically i went to so many different stores whatever that's why i went to abercrombie i said it in this vlog and i actually ordered them in the end so they came i really like them these are are they 30 pounds uk price 29 pounds so really good and if you're in the us they have 34 dollars but i got them in a small i just think these are really sweet really like them and yeah the drawstring does actually work which is amazing so yeah i mean not really a christmas gift for anyone but if you want to gift them pajamas these are great but yeah i just couldn't get hold of them which i thought was absolutely crazy because it's like holidays you know how can you not get hold of holiday pajamas during the holidays oh my gosh also for the first time in like eight years i have a chocolate advent calendar this is my one my mom is so funny she sent me out to la with two advent calendars i was like mom you do know like my suitcase is gonna be so full and she was just like it's fine it's advent you have to take it and i did i'm very glad i did but i don't know if i'm gonna be able to take them home i might have to just eat it all hello i've been playing with makeup can you see i'm just kind of you know when you do that thing where you go into the bathroom to like top up your makeup because like you're shiny or something and then you see eyeliner and you're like hmm I could put that on and then you like put different eyeshadow on and it's like you're layering it on and you're like why am i doing this me tonight but i have some really good food downstairs i actually have two of my favorite foods downstairs so i'm gonna show you them and i mean obviously i'm gonna eat them are you ready to see the food that you wish you had right now <laughs> okay the fridge has the most random stuff in right now honestly it's just it is kind of interesting okay so right here i have two of my favorite foods to get whilst i'm out in la the first one is mac and cheese it's from a place called air one it's a supermarket like a very like bougie like health supermarket like we saw sean mendes in there the other day that's the kind of like yeah also my buns like going everywhere but they do the best mac and cheese in the world and i always crave it and obviously this is cold because it's out of the fridge, but i'm gonna heat it up and eat it for my dinner and it's gonna be the best thing in the whole entire world. It's so good, like it's like next level good. Like I don't know how anyone made mac and cheese taste this good. And then the other thing I've like half eaten, it is a Bristol Farms cookie. So they do these like freshly baked cookies there. They're warm when you get them, but my boyfriend like bought it home for me. So it was not warm by the time I got home. But they have these really chunky cookies and I've eaten half of it. And you can put them in the microwave, but I think they taste just as good cold but yeah they do them at bristol farms they're pretty expensive they're like three dollars a cookie it's kind of ridiculous but 
they're incredible. I mean, this is like my dream meal, mac and cheese and a cookie. Healthy? No, but was I craving it? Yeah. All right, team, I'm gonna have a shower and then I'm gonna put those new Abercrombie pajamas on and show you what they look like. Ready? Three, two, one. Yay, that was so quick. So, they fit perfectly. I got small and the drawstring works, which is amazing. I've just got it on with this bodysuit. Yes, I've got a bra on. No, I'm not gonna wear the bra, but um, this is the only bra that I had with me. I can't really show you the bodysuit without a bra on because it's just a bit inappropriate, so this is what we're doing. Um, but yeah, everything here is Abercrombie. This is Kith. Um, it's with a brand, but I don't know what brand. Oh, CorkCircle.com, collab with Kith. Uh, I love it. It was just, yeah, I really like this. I use it a lot. But this is the pajama outfit. I've just showered. I've actually got a like facial product on right now. Wait, let me show you. So I did a little bit of a Sephora order. Not order. Oh my gosh. I was gonna say haul then. I was like, is that the right word? I went into Sephora and spent too much money basically. But I'm doing a haul week next week and I I bought the Sephora stuff like three weeks ago or a month ago and I just saved it. I was like, I'll just show you guys in a whole week, but I didn't have time to film the video, so I haven't used anything until now. And I've just used the TLC Sakari Baby Facial from Drunk Elephant and I absolutely love Drunk Elephant as a brand. I really like get on so well with their products. I talk about their uh, Maruda facial, facial Oil a lot and a few other products, I travel with them everywhere. They're in my like in-flight kind of bag. But this you pop on, leave it for 20 minutes and then you wash it off. My face is going a little red and it did tingle when I put it on, but I quite like that because I like the idea that it's doing something. Also, I don't do things like this regularly at all. So a little bit of tingle for me, that's fine. So something has leaked in one of my drawers and there's oil everywhere. So I'm gonna empty this clean it all up and then clean the drawer out, wipe it all out and put everything back in and kind of get rid of things I don't need. So, join me on this mission. So this is how we're looking so much better. I have, like I said, I've like some drunk elephant bits that I love. These are like travel minis. And then I have my moisturizers down here, my overnight elixir hairbrush. Uh, this is my favorite thing to get makeup off, the Body Shop Chamomile Silky Cleansing Oil. I have my face masks and then just some like other bits and bobs like facial spray. I've got dry shampoo, uh, a hair mask, and then my daily perfume. So yeah, that is how the drawer's looking now, so much better. So I've just washed it off. They make a point of saying wash it off thoroughly. I'm just patting on some of the Marula oil. I've just used like two, three pumps. Can you see my face is a little red? But my skin feels really nice. I mean, it still feels textured, but I guess I'll know in the morning because you, you know, you will give your skin some time, although, my skin does look super bright. It looks like, I don't know, it looks glowing. This is like an exfoliating thing. They call it like a mini facial, like an at-home facial. So yeah, I always feel with things like that, you have to give your skin some time, like usually overnight until I can tell if it's done anything. So I will let you know in the description box of this video if you wanna take a look. But I mean, my, fit, my skin feels good right now. It just looks a little red. So team, this is where I'm gonna say good night. I am just about to hop onto my laptop, get a few things done, and finish off ordering some Christmas presents because that is the whole point of today. But I do really hope you enjoyed this video. There is much more over my vlog channel if you want to see more about like my daily life. I guess I'm daily vlogging, it's Vlogmas. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. Give a massive thumbs up if you did, and I'll see you so very soon. Bye!